Hello, I'm Liam Wright, a lecturer in statistics at the Centre for Longitudinal Studies. In this section, I'll discuss the design of the Next Step survey, response rates across its nine main sweeps, and methods to account for attrition from the study. Next Steps was designed to represent individuals who are in year nine of secondary school in England in February 2004. The study comprises two samples, a main sample of 15,770 individuals recruited in Suite 1 and an ethnic boost sample of 352 Black African and Black Caribbean individuals who were recruited in Suite 4. The main sample was recruited using a two-stage complex sampling design. Schools were first selected and multiple pupils were then recruited from those schools. Schools with high numbers of children who were eligible for free school meals or with large numbers of ethnic minority students were oversampled and within selected schools individuals from ethnic minority backgrounds were oversampled too. There is some further nuance to this, for instance regarding the recruitment of students from private schools, more information on this can be found in the user guide. Not all invited schools cooperated with the study, nor did every sample uh, student uh, cooperate from a, uh, with, from a cooperating school. The boost sample differed from the main sample in that participants were recruited from schools that did not cooperate in sweep one. As with any longitudinal study, participation in next steps has decreased over time. 7,279 individuals were productive at the later sweep, approximately 45% of the total recruited sample. For, those, for the first seven sweeps, the study predominantly tracked only those who had responded in the prior sweep, and responses in these sweeps were largely monotonic. If a participant was observed in sweep six, it is very likely that they were observed in sweeps one to five too. If a person dropped out in sweep two, they were unlikely to appear in sweep four. In sweep eight and nine, efforts were instead made to invite all participants alive and resident in the UK, regardless of prior non-response. Consequently, a sizable fraction of participants are, miss are missing in some prior sweeps. For instance, 23% of sweep nine respondents did not participate in sweep eight. Overall, approximately 26% of the sample have participated in all, has participated in all sweeps, and approximately 27% have exhibited non-monotonic response patterns across time. Unequal selection into the study, non-random attrition from it, and non-monotonic response patterns within it mean that the observed data is unlikely to be representative of the population from which Next Steps is drawn. Individuals who are in year nine of secondary school in England in uh, February 2004, that is. Methods are required to achieve representativeness, and here we will highlight two, weighting and multiple imputation. Weights to restore sample representativeness have been created for each, sweeps, uh, each sweep and are supplied with the data. These account for both the design of the survey and attrition from it. Unlike the previous sweeps, for sweep 9 we have supplied two weights reflecting two separate target populations. The first reflect the initial population who are alive, not in prison and remaining resident in England in 2022-23. The uh, second target population reflects the initial uh, population who are also alive and not in prison in 22-23. Researchers using these weights should consider what the population they want to reflect is. In some cases, creating your own bespoke weights may be necessary. Researchers should also account for the, prior, uh, the complex survey design in analyses of Next Steps data uh, by including the primary sampling unit and stratum identifier variables that are supplied with the data. On screen is example data code to do this. Accounting for the complex survey design is necessary to obtain uh, standard errors that, are appropriate, that appropriately account for the non-independence of pupils drawn from uh, recruited schools. Besides weights, we also recommend that researchers consider using multiple imputation to address missing data in next steps, particularly given item missingness and the non-monotonic response, uh, response patterns that have been observed. CLS has created user-friendly guidance on this method, uh, which is displayed on screen now. Thank you, and now I'll pass back to uh, Morag. Uh, 